Matthew Stafford, baby. And Stafford finds him. I thought Matthew Stafford was unbelievable throughout the whole day. On to the NFC Championship game. That means a lot. That's a lot of hard work, you know, for a lot of years. The hard work began when Matthew Stafford was a Highland Park middle schooler, making a permanent impression on Randy Allen. The first time I met Matthew, he was in the eighth grade, and they told me about this eighth grader that could throw the ball 70 yards in the air. Stafford's ability to air it out was the main reason the Scots won the state championship in 2005. When I met with Matthew in the eighth grade, you know, he wanted to win state championships in high school football, but I think in the back of his mind, he always wanted to, he knew he was going to be a pro quarterback. Today, Stafford's determination and perseverance is paying off. After the offseason trade from Detroit, he's playing in the NFC title game for the first time in his 13-year career. And his high school coach couldn't be prouder. I text him after games, just tell him how proud I am and congratulate him. And he'll always text me back as soon as he gets in the dressing room. Thanks, coach. So I always tell him you're the best. Coach Allen is working hard to get tickets for Sunday's NFC Championship game in L.A. The fact that he can be on a winning team and enjoy football uh, and be in a position and an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl with a win over the 49ers uh, is a dream come true for me as his coach and I'm sure as Matthew as a player. The only thing sweeter would be a Texas-sized Super Bowl showdown between Matthew Stafford and Patrick Mahomes. Two of the greatest quarterbacks ever to play Texas high school football. What, what, what a great statement that would make about Texas high school football.